This next question now is talking about something slightly different, but you're gonna see that we have some of the same elements. So, for those of you who have been practicing this, you may believe and you may conclude that this is a y equals mx plus b question. You're absolutely right, that is true. But what I'm also going to show you is that we can actually solve this from the lens of a distance rate time question. I promise you, you can still do it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the information first by looking at the question sentence. Right here, how many glasses were already in stock at the beginning of production? So again, how many glasses were already in stock at the beginning of production? Sounds good. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and highlight that here. Boom. Okay. So we can write that out and we can say glasses in the beginning. Glasses in the beginning equals blank. Everybody, first step, are we in agreement there? We're looking for the amount of glasses that were there in the beginning. Is that cool with you? Sweet, sounds good. So the next step is, again, taking a natural look at the information we have. Let's carefully process the information, giving ourselves the best chance to getting this done. So let's write things down. Let's start off right up here. A factory completed its production schedule with 8,050 glasses now in inventory. So from the initial inventory, the factory produced 290 glasses per hour over 26 hours. Okay, sounds good. Let's pause really quick because my question is, regardless of whether you think this question is easy or hard, are you prepared to answer more like this? Do you understand everything you need to know leading up to this, like fractions, decimals? All of these questions that I'm asking you are legitimate questions that every successful asthma test taker needs to ask themselves. And so tracking your progress, guaranteeing that you know you're ready, that's the number one way to prepare. And that's why we designed our progress dashboards for the math basics, arithmetic reasoning, and math knowledge. No more do you have to guess and hope for the best in terms of, hey, I practiced for two days straight, I hope I'm ready. You know, that happens way too often and then people move on only to find out that they weren't ready and then time was wasted. So don't waste time. When you have a plan and a progress book like this that's lined up for you from beginning to end, you are absolutely 100% guaranteed to grow. So if you're happy about that or excited, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video or text me at 567-698-8867. Text me asking me about how the program works. I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to make sure that you're successful. So don't waste time. Let's make sure you get the score you want and that job you deserve. Hit me up, click the link in the description, and let's get you in there. So again, a factory completed its production schedule with this many glasses that we now have. From the initial inventory, the factory produced this many per hour over this time. So we have a what seems to be a rate, we have a time, we have the final amount, and we're looking for the beginning amount. Okay. Here's how we can still use distance equals rate times time. Everybody, I don't think we need to mince words here. We can be very quick and honest. Yes or no, do you agree? 290 glasses per hour and 26 hours, those are both a rate and a time respectively. Yes or no? Right, sounds great. So 290 glasses per hour, that's the rate. And the time period that this was going on for was 26 hours. Now, my party people, let me show you what's up. Here we go. We have the rate, we have the time, and let's pretend that we're all gung-ho about this and we wanna find the distance. Watch what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna plug it in right here, and I'm gonna say, hey, 290 per hour times the 26. Watch this. You have to understand what the numbers mean. When we perform this, we will have, again, let me zoom in over here to make it a little easier, 290 times 26. Okay, big numbers, multiplying, don't worry. Trust your instincts, trust the practice you've done, go for it. And here we go. Zero times six, nine times six is 54, carry the five. Two times six is 12, carry the five is 17. 
next line. So now we'll be focusing on the two. So here we go. We have zero times two, nine times two is 18. Two times two is four, carry the one is five. Add this back. And now we have zero, four, 15, carry the one and that's seven. So 75, 40. So what that tells you in terms of distance equals rate times time is that the distance or the amount that we achieved in these 26 hours is going to be 7,540 glasses. So again, distance or the way that we can interpret this is the amount achieved is going to equal 7,540 glasses. My math party people, are we good so far? Does that make sense? Yeah, we got the distance in terms of how much, how many glasses did we produce? How many glasses did we produce? And we produced 7,540. My party people, is that the answer? Is that the answer? Ooh, okay. Some people are quick here saying, no, no, that is not the final answer. Everyone, can we remind ourselves? We highlighted it red, I wrote it down. What is it that we're looking for again? What is it that we're looking for again? Right, we're trying to find that beginning amount, everybody. We have the ending amount, and we have the amount that was produced in that time period. So that can help us find the beginning amount. Think about it. Let's highlight this. We see right over here, it says, we completed the production schedule with 8,050 glasses. So I can say right over here, we ended with 8,050 glasses. And then we noted right over here, we noted right there, we noted that we produced 7,540. So we ended with 8050. We produced 7,540. And so therefore, how do we find how many we began with everybody? What's the simple operation that we'll take? Yeah, okay, you guys already, yep, you guys already blasted it there in the chat box. Yeah, we'll be subtracting and we're good. If we have what we ended with and we have what we did, we can subtract to get what we started off with. So right over here, we have zero, one, 80 minus 75 is five. And so we have 710, that, or 510, excuse me, that we began with. And there we are. Booyah, and we're done. And so the answer would be 510 glasses, and we're good. The last thing I want you to do is move on without taking advantage of all the help that you can get, including my free classes that are once a week. So before you go, go ahead and text this number right there. Go ahead and ask it. When's the next free class? My assistant is gonna text you back as soon as we can, and they'll let you know when the next free class is with the link. That way you can mark your calendar and ace the ASVAB next time we're around. I'll see you in there, my party people. Let's get to it.